And since Victoria's Secret is about looking good, then wouldn't it make sense that you wouldn't want to look at somebody that didn't look good? Oh, the hate, the hate, and hate and dislike, the hate, the hate, and I'm sorry. Me. Victoria's Secret has done away with the world-famous Angel supermodel. The lingerie and comfort wear company has said goodbye to the models who have for years famously strutted their runway wearing over-the-top ensemble feathers and they, sometimes the outfits could weigh 30 pounds. That's nothing. Kiss weighed 50. Suck it up, buttercup. In their place, Victoria's Secret has launched a campaign of high-profile women known for their accomplishments rather than their figures. Okay, who did we pick here? We've got Megan Rapinoe, the soccer star that looks like she took a soccer ball to the face even when she's supposedly smiling. A freestyle skier, I have no idea. Uh, I don't even know who these people are. A transgender model, Valentina Sampiro, because they want you to lust after people who don't know what sex they are. Since they're not going to win intelligence competitions, I guess they want them to win beauty pageants. I don't know. Uh, somebody else. I Basically, you've never heard of them, so you don't care about them. And since they're not attractive, you're not going to buy the magazine either, and you're not going to look at their uh, nice camel toe. I said it. You're not going to go ahead and do any of that. You're, so you're never going to see these people, and you're still not going to know them. So you're good to go. Um... To redefine what sexy is. Various body types. Yeah. Yuck. Um, when the world is changing, we are slow to respond, said Martin Walters, according to the Times. All right, Mr. Walters, let, let me teach you a little secret here. That looks like Rachel Maddow. And unless you are Rachel Maddow, that's yuck. I'm sorry, that's yuck. That's so insensitive. She's welcome to look at me and say that it's yuck. That doesn't mean she wants me to die. I don't want anything to happen to her. Yuck! She can look at me, she, yuck! So what? I don't think her or I have any place in Victoria's Secret catalog. Yuck! So let me, let me tell you what's going to happen here. You can look the rest of that up on Fox News. Remember when Playboy tried this similar stuff? They tried to get rid of the uh, the ladies. And what did they get? They almost went bankrupt is what they did. And they quickly went back to having ladies again. So that is a secret. Uh, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, it's, there you go. Yes, ad blocker detected. Congratulations. Good job. The Independent. This is the runner-up, by the way. What if I really, really, really wanted to touch a part of your soul? What would make you feel sexy? How about a thug who pointed a gun at a woman's stomach? For that matter... Even if you're on Georgie Boy's side here, and I, 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 I don't, I'm not happy that George Floyd died, and I'm happy that the man who killed him is going to prison. Let me say again, I am not happy that George Floyd died, and I am not at all sad that the person who did it went to prison. I call him Georgie Boy, not out of disrespect to him. I call him Georgie Boy. And I mentioned this in other videos. Because every time they need to sell something, they bring up Georgie Boy. Do you think for a minute he wants his death to be used to sell lingerie? I'm not the one being disrespectful here. This is being disrespectful. M and S claim, yeah, he did hold a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach, and I don't think anybody who did that needs to be the poster boy for lingerie. I mean, let's face it. We we they're trying to pit the races at 
everyone else. There'll be people that hear my humor on this and the way I talk and say how hateful and evil and this and that and the other I am, which is whatever. I don't care. Evan S. claimed New Laundry Rage was inspired by George Floyd's death. Marks and Special has claimed that their new uh, the, the retail giant has launched a neutrals lingerie range that offers more colors for women of different ethnicities. So we weren't able to make lingerie in different colors. I'm sorry, I have always seen people of different skin tones in different color clothing. Oh, but now we're going to draw attention to it because a man was killed by an officer. He, but the officer got away with it. No, he didn't. He went to jail for 22 years. 22 years ago, Mudvayne was a new band. Disturbed may be blowing up, and Eminem might have a future. The horrific death of George Floyd and the global conversation on race. No, you don't have a conversation on race. If you talk about it and don't agree, you're silenced. Conversation on race and equality and unconscious bias has spurred us to go harder and faster. Harder and faster while selling lingerie. Very funny. Very, very funny. This is sick. And again, you can be too sick to win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, and that's what it was. So that does take us to those who did win. Uh, where's my song? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need our dumb D music. I know. Hold on. <coughs> If you'd like to donate, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can do that through PayPal. The correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Do you know the quickest way to make sure that your people are in danger of not having enough water? Take trillions with a T. Trillions. Trillions of gallons of water. Pour it into the ocean to save fish. Fish! Who were never in danger to begin with! Green New Deal California to cut off water supply over drought after dropping trillions of gallons of fresh water into the ocean. California State Water Resources Control Board notified thousands of farmers of impending water unavailability as the state's man-made drought accelerates. 6,600 farmers in the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Watershed have, excuse me, who have rights to use the water from the Central Valley estuary were told they may face water cutoffs this summer. This is how dry things are, Water Board Chairman Joaquin Esquivel told the Sacramento Bee. This sounds like it should be the freaking Babylon Bee. The hydrology that we're seeing is not there there will not be enough natural flow. However, the state also must provide enough flow in the rivers to maintain protected fish species population in the rivers while keeping the cities and communities from running out of water. Maybe the, maybe man is more important than a fish. Maybe. Maybe this has nothing to do with global warming since we know from the historical record that the only thing unusual about California is the fact that you've been able to live there for the last couple hundred years. Historically, it's a place where you go to die. It's usually about 112 degrees. This comes a month after Governor Gavin Newsom declared a drought emergency and announced a new multi-billion dollar water infrastructure drought response spending package. It's the driest it's been since 1977. And how did the drought start? In recent years, California has been dumping trillions of gallons of fresh water into the oceans to protect a non-endangered bait fish called the Delta Smart. Non-endangered. 
the fish isn't even in danger of going instinct. Extinct. And the practice of emptying the reservoirs is continuing to this day, according to the Central Valley farmer Christy Diner. Are we having a dry year? Yes, Diner said. That is normal for us. Should we be having water shortages in the start of the second dry year? No. Our reservoirs were designed to provide a safety five-year supply for all users and were filled to the top in June of 2019. All users, all of them, not some of them, all of them. They had the water for all of them for five years. How can this be the driest year on record when it has more than seven months left? That's just fake news and crisis creation. Before magnificent reservoir projects were built, California never had a steady and reliable supply of water. Historically, man's warming the planet. No, never had reliable water. Now water is being managed as if those reservoirs don't exist by emptying the collected water from the storage into the sea rather than saving it for our routinely dry years. Our water projects were designed to be managed for the long term, providing a minimum five-year supply, but California has now put us on track for a man-made drought. 